Hi, it's Selena, and since you guys have been asking me a lot of questions on how to do the splits and so on and on, I'm going to make several videos to talk about how to become flexible. This week's topic is static stretching. I will answer one question at the end of each video. Let's get started. As I said before, flexibility can be very useful in some sports like gymnastics, dance. Static stretching is a stretch when cooling down after a workout. I am going to show you some basic static stretching. One. Calf stretching. Stand with your feet shoulder feet length, facing a wall, and place your palms on the wall. Bend one of your knees and slowly move your other leg backwards until you feel at least a bit of a stretch in your calf. Remember, even if you want to be flexible, it doesn't mean you have to go over your maximum. Hold for at least 10 to 20 seconds. Make sure to straighten your leg on the back. Two, do the front splits. If you don't know how to do the front splits, Go check out my how to do the splits tutorial. Practicing this after a workout is great to at least keep a bit of the training. Hold the position to at least 10 to 30 seconds for each leg. Always do both legs because if you always only do one, in a few years or months, you will start to walk kind of sideways because your weight is all there on that one leg. Make sure to keep square. This is a great thing to do if you think you are not square. If you're not touching over the side of your knee, then that means you are not square. Square means your whole knee is touching the floor, not like this. Three, butterfly stretches. To practice butterfly stretches correctly, sit on the floor, open your legs, and bend. Hold this position for five to 10 seconds. Repeat several times. When your flexibility improves, you will be able to touch your knee to the ground, but it might take a lot of time. If you want to do an extra stretch, you can try and put your hand on the floor and reach forward. You can also put your hands over your knees and stretch it. Make sure not to go over your limits. This is actually the best I can do. Don't judge. This week's Q&A is, is it okay to practice the splits a lot? Yes, it is. In fact, it's more than okay to practice every day. People who want to improve practice and practice a lot of times. So if you want to improve or achieve something, you have to keep and keep on working. Never give up. Thank you for watching How to Become Flexible Part 5. Please watch How to Become Flexible Part 4, 3, 2, and 1 if you haven't watched yet. Hopefully these tips helped a lot. Please subscribe for more. Bye!